Wow and welcome back to Weekend on Wheels and I'm Girish and today I have the all new TVS iCube electric scooter special thanks to Sai Radha TVS for giving me this scooter so I'm going to review this and I'll see you right on the other side to tell you more about this scooter Welcome back to my channel and I have the all new TVS iCube with me so let me just give you a little background about TVS iCube so they come in three different variant you have the iCube, iCube ES and iCube ST so the current version which I have is called the iCube ES so let me just quickly start from the very front of this this gets a very nice conventional looking uh, design so looks very conventional does not look like an electric scooter uh, yet it has an edge uh, over the regular scooter looking uh, and it's a much more acceptable design and everybody likes the minute you see it it looks like a regular conventional scooter but only when you ride it you'll come to know the dis difference on the scooter so let's start from the front so this gets an alloy wheel with disc brake in the front and then you have the integrated uh, headlight system in the front which comes with led headlight and if you go a little up and then you have this nice uh, led light here and then comes with a nice uh, big windshield also so this is the front look of this and you get a good uh, uh, TVS uh, branding here which is a dual tone color black and the gray and then you have the iCube uh, logo here now let's get on to the side view so side again there's a lot of branding going on you have iCube mentioned here iCube electric here and that's the S variant and then if you go below this you have iCube electric written and that glows as well so let me just start the scooter and uh, show you so see here this glows and this looks very very nice in the night when you look at it let's turn this off and let's give you a side look and this is the side look looks very similar uh, a familiar looking design and very much acceptable acceptable looking design as well and now let's get to the console or the Odo so you have this TVS iCube and welcome and then you have to say please uh, retract the side stand so to get more detail you have to retract the side stand so in this S variant so in the normal iCube you get a smaller uh, Odo in this you get a 7 inch nice display so when I ride I'm going to talk more about that display on your left hand side you have the high beam low beam and then you have this jog stick basically to maneuver a lot of stuff which goes in this and then you have the indicate left and right honk button to your right hand side you have the hazard button and then you have the parking that is uh, if you want to reverse put into reverse mode you can do that and then there's mode button so this has two different mode one is eco mode and the other one is called the power mode and here you have the key system and on the other side you have the charging bit so this is the charging bit and talking about the spec of the scooter this is powered with 4.4 kilowatts of hub motor so that's uh, the hub motor there and this has two lithium-ion batteries which takes about four and a half hours and uh, in a complete charge you can go up till 100 kilometer range in this particular scooter and uh, in an eco mode you can go a top speed of 45 kilometers and on uh, power mode you can go up till 80 kilometers speed that's the spec and then uh, when you look at the rear system system you have the uh, dual suspension which comes into play it has a BL, uh, BLDC hub motor and uh, when you come back to the rear it gets again an integrated uh, tail lamp system with LED system and then you have a branding of iCube here as well so this is a close 360 degree look of the scooter and then uh, let me just open this and show you the boot space or the space which is there below the seat so you have a quite a bit space in the seat here below the seat you can easily fit in one full 
so it's helmet and then you can carry your charger as well so that is easy if you want to carry your charger and the charger is a 15 amp charger you can put it into any 15 amp plug and charge the scooter and takes about four and a half hours for a ch full charge so yes these are the feature of this scooter now without wasting much time let's uh, ride the scooter and tell you more from the ride perspective the power output the braking uh, seat comfort and uh, should you really consider buying one of this so i'll see you in a bit now it's time to ride the iCube and tell you more about the scooter from the ride perspective so let's start this so welcome and if you need to start this you need to press the brake and the mode button and this will start so you have basic information going on here it says it's eco mode then uh, you can connect this with your phone via bluetooth which will give you call indication message indication the bluetooth notification a range that your phone has and also the battery and here you get the average speed you have the odo and then you have the trip meter and uh, this also tells you what is the uh, average um, battery capacity in terms of kilometer left and this is the battery left in the scooter so let's ride this <laughs> nice so electric scooter is not new to me you guys have might have seen i've done a ride from kanyakumari to khardungla on an electric scooter so it's very normal to me riding an electric scooter uh, and i feel this is exactly like any other conventional uh, scooter it's um, initially you might have to get used to this but otherwise this is as good as riding any other conventional scooter only thing is you'd miss the sound so now i'm going on a little bit of bad pay uh, patch as such and uh, the suspension is doing a great job uh, you know it's taking all the uh, bump or the hits comfortably and not throwing too much to you me and also from the seat perspective this has a very nice broad seat which is very comfortable to sit as well uh, that's good and then even from uh, the side mirror point of view it has a very nice broad side mirror gives you a good view as to what's happening uh, right behind you and a good clear vision and from the right perspective any electric scooter for that matter they are very very comfortable you do not have any kind of vibration that comes in um, so this also is as good as the same very very comfortable ride and also from the um, uh, f your foot space this has a very nice broad space in the front so this is what i'm talking about the space has a very very nice uh, space to keep your leg and very comfortable as well and uh, also you might see here when you're in eco mode whenever i'm not accelerating or you know whenever i'm declining in terms of my travel or whatever this does a regen also so look at that you can see regen so this is also this uh, regenerates battery which is a very very good uh, feature especially uh, when you are in situations where uh, um, you you have higher kilometers to cover and the range might be shown a little less if you have the feature of regen uh, where a kilometer or two can be regenerated you can easily cover that distance so that's a very very good feature having regen wow and the power output fantastic the 4.4 uh, kilowatt uh, hub motor does a brilliant job so 0 to 40 is in less than uh, four seconds i think that's what i remember i'm not too sure and then now let's on the go change this to power mode all you have to do is press the mode button here and you see there's a power mode here and in power mode suddenly the acceleration uh, immediately changes the way it responds to you and it's a uh, nice clean power coming in very comfortable and the best part is so nimble to ride the scooter and you know it's very very easy and i have a nice inclination here this is easily getting onto those inclination without any problem and then uh, i was talking about this jock stick here so you can actually change uh, uh, um, or uh, you know uh, get information by this 
and uh, also the best part is you have the hazard button which is there and um, the scooter comes with the three years the battery comes with basically three years warranty or 50,000 kilometer whichever is uh, the early one so 50,000 kilometers or three years warranty is what you get and also uh, you have the ha uh, app which you connect this phone with and uh, at any point of time you need any road assistance you just have to go through the app and uh, you know uh, request for road assistance and then rest will be taken care uh, by the app it will get you the road assistance and all those things that you need and let's in a bit go to highway and uh, let's try to see go to the top speed so i'll reach the highway and i'll get back to you guys here we are almost touching the highway and yes let's touch the highway now let's see in eco mode what is the top speed this does and also how the brake responds to this so in eco mode top speed is about 50 kilometers that's the top speed uh, when you're on eco and uh, let's see the efficiency also when we are on the top speed in eco mode how the brake efficiency works the brakes are quite good the front is a disc brake and then the rear is a drum so they're quite efficient so far with uh, a 50 km per hour speed it's quite efficient to cut down and uh, stop and now there's a small uh, rumblers here let's see how the suspension works on these rumblers do you feel any uh, difference or just feels like a regular any other scooter and you know does it take the yes this takes uh, just like any other scooter and now let's switch on to the power mode and here we are in power mode let's see what's the top speed the acceleration also quite fast when you are on the power mode and the power input you can feel it when you throttle there's good uh, power coming in and let's see what's the top speed on this so it's locked to 80 kilometers per hour so that's the top speed that you can achieve when you're in power mode and uh, this zoops into 80 kilometer in no time and let's see the braking efficiency braking is also very very good very nice progressive um, and you know it gets you back to control in no time so the braking is also very very good very efficient Com considering that you would not go on highway on an electric scooter because it's going to be your daily commute in the city but still you have uh, the option of going up to 80 kilometers per hour so when we talk about this overall performance very very good uh, scooter the fit and finish is fantastic top notch fit and finish and uh, it comes from the house of TVS, so you don't have to worry at all. They have their service chain across the country. They know the subject very well. The kind of scooters they've been making are outstanding. You look at any of their IC scooter, could it be uh, Antoc, which is one of a massive hit, or the Jupiter, or the Scooty. You know, these are all iconic names that you can hear. And this is another brilliant product from TVS. Uh, right from uh, the range point it gives you a 100 kilometer range in terms of performance point it, it performs very well the seat is good broad you know comfortable seating um, and has a good uh, under boot uh, space as well and also comes with portable charger so you can carry the charger anywhere you want um, just in case you would want to charge on the go and this uh, the charger is a 15 amps charger which takes about four and a half hours to fully charge and it's very convenient the charging point is just below here itself so from the overall perspective i think this is definitely a very good option for everyone who's looking at uh, um, you know buying a electric scooter and uh, this is the flavor of the hour if you look at it a lot of people are switching to electric scooters and this is definitely the current future i don't know about how the future gonna turn in the next couple of years but then the current future this is definitely doing the justice so yes go ahead um, take a test drive at Sai Radha Mangalore so thank you so much uh, Sai Radha Mangalore for giving me the opportunity to ride this uh, and also review 
thank you so much for this opportunity that's all for this video until the next video bye bye for now keep it rolling guys bye bye